My journey with the unexplained began when I was five. My name is Amber, and I'm a physical medium. The she was crushed, her chest and her throat, and then the breathing stopped. And the dead come to me for help. He also slithers around and shows himself as different things, like shapeshifts. I communicate with dead people. He jumps out of the water and takes people back into the water. And he drowns them and kills them. Come along with me and step into my world. Welcome to Amber's Para World. I'm here at the historic Blenheim House of Hotel and we're going to go explore it and maybe talk to some ghosts. Hello everyone, I'm here at the historic Blenheim House Hotel. I'm waiting to speak with Adria. You'll meet her in just a minute. This place has some hauntings and I've only been here a few minutes. Oh, excuse me. But I am already picking up on a male spirit, heavy set, balding, receding hairline, prominent. I'm a female who seems to be in agony, pain, crying, kind of like <sighs> moaning. Um, I'll wait and see if she's going to tell me a little bit about this place and show us some hot spots. So I'll wait to see if um, I'm right. So we'll be back with you in just a minute. So I'm here with Adra, and you host the ghost tours here? Yeah, so I'm lead of the Haunted Blunder House program. We do ghost tours and other paranormal events. Okay, um, do you usually get a lot, of, a lot of activity here? Oh yes, constant. That's why I was so adamant about starting this program. Mm -hmm. um, this was one of the places when I was investigating before that I would always come back when I needed some inspiration on why I do the work in the paranormal. There's orbs all around you right now. <laughs> They're like going up and right on your head. <laughs> So do you all also do tours of the island as well? Um, we don't know. Hidden Marietta does run the paranormal events for that. Okay. But I do historical tours over there. And even during the day, some weird stuff happens over there. So it does feel very much connected. Okay. So what is the scariest thing that you think has happened here? Um, the scariest, the only scary things we really get are in regards to the bowler hat man in room 409. He's also spotted in other fourth floor rooms and the basement. And we do think that he's quite aggressive because he is a former former serial killer. Oh, wow. Um, but I'd have to say the scariest story that I've heard regarding him is we did have a regular guest report that she spent the night in 409. And she was actually held down by her neck in bed. So okay. that's probably the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. So um, I did a little intro before you got here. And I was telling everybody about <laughs> the, the male and then the female that I picked up on. Do you want to go over that real quick? Like, Sure. So um, I'm sure you already described them. Yes. To me, what I picked up on for the mail is that it might be Peter Van Winkle, who was a very prominent guy, senator in West Virginia, um, tight with Abe Lincoln. So it's said that he actually is the one that kind of talked him into putting West Virginia as a state. Oh, wow. He lived, yeah. So he lived just up the road, and his house is still very, very active paranormal -wise. Yeah, he's definitely still around. Yeah, and he would have absolutely known William Chancellor, the founder of the hotel, mm -hmm. and most likely frequented the Blunner house it. So that's who I thought it might yeah. be when you said yeah, that. I mean, it makes sense. You oh, know. absolutely. Yeah, and that's what that's who initially popped in my head when you started describing him. Yeah, and then the dark-haired lady. Yeah, so the story with that, when I started here, I was working front desk uh, before the ghost tours, and this couple, I booked them into room 405, which is just right across the hall, and they came back down a few minutes later and just kindly said, we think you made a mistake and put us in someone else's room. Uh, no one was in there. I later asked them why they thought that. They said that they had opened the door and seen a woman in a white dress with dark hair back facing them, uh, looking towards the wall. They apologized. She didn't move, turn around, or say anything. So they just came down to me and asked to change rooms. That is so interesting. Yeah. Has anybody else seen her that you uh, know of? Nope, not that I know of, but people have reported other weird feelings in that room. Mm -hmm. 405, 407, which adjoins to 409 if you unlock the doors, 
and 409 seemed to be quite the little circle. So if anybody wants a little bit of a spook or a scare, they can book one of those rooms here at the Blender Hassett and find out for themselves. Absolutely, although if you're not wanting a spook, I wouldn't advise coming here at all because it can happen in broad daylight anywhere. <laughs> in any room, I guess? Yeah, my first paranormal experience was in the morning in the 1980s edition of the hotel, so you just never know. What nights do you do the ghost tours here? It's the third Friday of every month. Okay. And that and do you do the um, the walking tours as well, you said? Yeah. So Susan Shepard's Haunted Parkersburg tours, I'm lead guide. That's still presently owned by her daughter, Scarlett. Mm -hmm. But come October, I do the walking tours for that. Yeah. Okay. Do you all do them during the summertime too or just in October? No. I think it kind of keeps the magic about it that it's just weekends. We did start in September this year, but it's just essentially the spooky season. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Of course. This is the photo that Adra showed me when we got back downstairs. This is Peter Van Winkle. He was born September 7th, 1808, and he passed away April 15th, 1872. So I think it's really cool that I got to see one of the founders of West Virginia, the state I live in. Um, he's definitely passed away, but he's still around in spirit. So when you were back there talking earlier, yeah. I literally just saw this. Oh, I believe it. They always see shadow figures down here. The maintenance guys tell me, even if they don't believe in ghosts, uh -huh. they'll be like, we walk with blinders. We just... They they try to ignore it, right? Yeah. And I've always felt vibes from this whole area. You know, I feel a lot of people down here, like a lot of men. Yeah. Like quite a few, and they all knew each other. But like, and I think that's a lot of the shadow figures are probably them. Yeah. Um, it makes sense. You know, Mr. Chancellor, he was a really prominent businessman, but, you know, his... Astrology, if you believe in that, which I definitely do to a degree. You mm -hmm. know, there's talk he was into mediums. He was mm -hmm. kind of into the... These know. guys seem like workers or like they're dirty. They look dirty. Um, well, that would make sense. But there's a bunch of them. That would definitely make sense. Like, I don't think they're all here at one time, but you're going to see a bunch. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you yeah. might hear a couple of them. Yeah. Ooh, it goes back pretty far, doesn't it? So this is all the addition, right? Is um, that what you were saying? It's an added, like, yeah, added on? Yeah, this is all additional. I mean, they're still going to use the space, oh, you know? Absolutely. And then we, you know, there were other businesses and stuff in this area at the time of the hotel. You know, when you were talking... ...and upstairs about comparing mm -hmm. the one guy to, to Bundy. Yeah. Like, I wonder if they're like... He reincarnated as a killer it again. Honestly, like, makes me wonder. They, I just got chills when he said that as well. <laughs> I was thinking that up there. I'm like, maybe, maybe it's him still. You know? I mean, their birthdays aren't anywhere near, but like they, they literally have the same vibe. If right. That makes sense. Like it's always been. Literally, the judge said it could be paraphrased what was said to Bundy. Mm -hmm. And then that just creeps me out. And just you know his. Until you know intelligence. All and like nobody considered. knew until it was like. Yeah, and it all like, came out so deranged it's like how did he even hide it right sort of thing uh, i always get just weird weird vibes i know everybody was like you didn't watch the the ted bundy series i'm like no i don't want to pick up on his energy at all because it happens through chat through video it doesn't matter They were all displaced, and that's when everyone came together and was like, we're going to put the hotel back to where it was. So this is the original, right? Yeah. So this is the original, and this is exactly where laundry would have been as well. And then come back this way. Shadow figures always go. So the lady that has been seen, does she keep her hair like in a bun? Or, yeah. I've this definitely is where seen the stairwell her. would have come down for the okay. staff to come right. to go to the Bellman's Closet. So there's always shadow yeah. figures. And this is exactly where the laundry was. And they you're, you're right when you said, like, sort of like the shining bobs, like that. Yeah. Because, like, she's still working. You know what I mean? Yeah. She thinks she's still working. Yeah. Absolutely.
and I'm just full of it. But I genuinely think they needed it, and it's really helped the hotel financially, so I am glad. The energy in this place is definitely strange. I yeah, agree. It's unique. It was very unique. I can definitely sense the lady who was on drugs, though. Like yeah. it's, it makes. I think that's where I get that weird. He like when I was up there, I felt really um, off. But if it's just in the middle of somewhere, it's not going off, and it suddenly does. You can kind of guess what might be going on. So we're gonna have that going as well. Does anyone want to hold this? I will. Okay. Just keep it away from your cell phone. Make sure I don't get a false reading. Um, and then Amber is so uh, nicely learned her pendulum. So this is kind of a divination tool. It can kind of be used like dowsing rods. So typically, if it goes around clockwise, it's a yes. If it goes around counterclockwise, it's a no for yes or no questions. It can also be used to point to someone. For example, if you say, who in the room do you most want to speak to? It can go towards somebody or, some, or where are you at the moment. So does anyone want to try this? Well, guys, I do this for a living. This is for you. <laughs> I have two hands. I can do that one too. Hold <laughs> that. Uh, yeah. I'm not that steady. You have to be steady to do that. Oh, that's what I Okay, we can leave the pendulum out for now, and then if anyone feels like they want it, we can leave it out. CJ, he did this. You want us to wait for him at all? No, we can go ahead. Okay. Okay, who said computer just now? Are you a little confused by all the technology? If you hear anything come up on yours, do feel free to speak. Who's that? Joseph, by chance, are you here? Because you interrupted me when I was in here last time. I will say the ghost hunting shows and stuff. We had taps here while they were filming Blennerhassett Island, and they typically go for like five nights at a time of nonstop investigation just to get that little 30 minutes. So I think it's pretty incredible. The first night I stayed in Moundsville alone, actually, I did not have a thing happen. I was like, this is a load of, went back and got scratched. So sometimes <laughs> you don't get anything, but the fact we've even gotten something so far, and we're just in here for half an hour, I find that pretty incredible. That thing was actually... When you asked one question, it was turning like this. Mm -hmm. well, I'd be surprised if Joseph wasn't here. He really is an attention hog. I find it interesting, um, with Amber being a medium, she picked up on somebody that was very prominent in Parkersburg, Peter Van Winkle. He was a senator. His house is still very, very haunted. It's on the haunted Parkersburg ghost tour. And she described him to a T. I showed her a photo. Is this who you saw? Yep. She also picked up on a woman who was distraught with dark hair and a white dress. Hadn't told her anything, of course. Um, in room 405, when I was working front desk, I checked this really nice couple in, and they came down a few minutes later, said they saw a woman in there, and nobody was in there, but they described her as being in a white dress, dark hair, sitting on the bed, facing away from them. So I'm not sure what happened in that room or in that area, but... Were they able to determine who she was? Nope. It wasn't a, I can go ahead and guess it wasn't a real person because they said that somebody was definitely in there. No one was seen on the cameras leaving aside from them. They said they just walked in. She was sitting on the bed facing away from them. They said they apologized. She didn't turn around. And so they just came right back down to me and told me about it. And you can tell when someone's like trying to get something for free. They were very, very kind and they just thought I'd made a genuine mistake. Okay, if there's anyone here at the moment, you can either come speak into this device here, his device there, or the red light in the middle. You can just walk near it or touch it, and we'll be able to know that you're here. Did you say the killer's name was Joseph? Mm -hmm. That was his real name. He went by John here, though. Joseph, are you here? John, are you here? Are there any spirits in here? 
Might be building it all up for you guys tonight in 409. Okay. <laughs> They're just waiting for us to come back. Yeah. Oh, there, there it goes. I am disappointed I didn't bring my dowsing rods tonight. I should have because he always messes with I've those. got some. Yeah, and there's a specific thing that he does with He told me one tour that I was in the wrong profession. Like, he's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say you should, you should have done? Well, I, nothing. He didn't have any advice for me there. I guess I could have gone and been a serial killer. Stop recording. No, I'm not going to. Sorry, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like me because I talk back. Okay, so the dowsing rods, these are typically used to find water in the woods. We are, you know, a few streets away from the river, but it's not going to go for that. Um, so typically when you're using dowsing rods, they can cross for yes, go apart for no. They can point to someone. One of my favorite things to do is say, who do you want to talk to the most? And it usually goes to the one person in the room who doesn't want anything to do with it. Um, but what Joseph does is, I'll keep him out just in case he does it. Um, he usually turns one to the side. And then the other one will either be rocking back and forth or just swing around completely. So um, if you can imagine this one kind of out to the side like that. And then the other one will either be going like someone's at the end of it or it'll fully go. And that's like his little thing to do. So if you have dowsing rods out, he responds really well with these. Okay, let's try these. And sometimes I found... Um, Older style paranormal equipment works better in older places. They're more familiar with it. When you've got these kind of high tech devices, you have to really explain what it is to the spirits because they don't know. All right, let's try this now. If there is anyone in the room with us at the moment, can you please point to where you might be standing? Is there anyone here that you want to talk to, or you just don't want to talk to any of us? Kind of went towards you a little bit. <laughs> started swinging. Started swinging. It totally stopped. It usually started. does go to one of the like quieter people in the group. Whenever I say, "Who do you want to talk to?" It's usually the person that's like, "What are you doing?" But yeah, it was totally stopped her a second ago. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Okay, are we going to start doing this now? He's definitely in here. I know, he just, he doesn't like when people... Can you cross the rods off. if you're a coward? Sorry. Maybe you need to go out of 409 tonight. <laughs> yeah, um, that's all right. We're not trying to provoke. <laughs> no, we want to like that. Yeah. We want to see that. Joseph, are you going to hunt 409 tonight? <laughs> oh, great. They're not afraid. You booked it. You I'm asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> They said you won't do What did it say? Doomed. Oh, my <laughs> God. And I will say, like, the spirit <clears throat> sessions, I take this on investigations. It doesn't talk sometimes for an hour at a time. Sometimes we don't get anything on this for spirit sessions Now, what program is that? Uh, goes to. Don't use their SLS, though, because it's still a little glitchy, in my opinion. But there's stuff I've gotten on here. Um, so last time when we investigated in 211, oh, there's a server. Yes. Look at that. Who's he might be staff. favoring you. Okay. Uh, Hi, Joseph. And any doubters, she is not on her staff. <laughs> no, no, she, I didn't pay her. Um, That's crazy. There's a waitress that came on one of my ghost tours. She was in room 211 with us that night. And last month when we went in 211, this thing said Gianna, which is her daughter's name. And she'd actually gotten called in to work about 10 minutes before that happened. She wasn't even meant to be working, so... Quite strange to me that it said her name. Yeah. He's having a good time with this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're unwelcome. <laughs> Just okay. give me a ride. Is Joseph the only spirit in here right now? Because this isn't the Joseph Isel show. Peter Van Winkle, we know you were in here earlier. Are you still up here hanging out? like someone's just kind of toying with them. I'm going to turn my flash on for just a second see if there's any orbs. Yeah, go ahead. So I can't tell in the dark. Okay. You know what's weird? Huh? You record this on FM. Mm-hmm. And when it's scanning, you'll hear the radio stations. Mm -hmm. We're in Parkersburg. I should be picking up 95.1 yeah. or anything. Not a radio station out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We picked up FM. It's got it. But not one station's came across this yet. 
That is very strange. Uh, spirit boxes work really, really well in here. So I have a yeah. two-year-old who's lost when I said if I'm nice. Or, he doesn't like, and you know, he wasn't known to be violent towards any women. Um, but I've noticed that he doesn't like. Follow me. Where to? We just might if you tell us where to. You have to say, though. Like, he seems to prey on more, like, mentally vulnerable, like, people that aren't used to ghost hunting. And so, who did he kill? So he killed three of his friends. They were all pretty much robbery motivated, it seemed like. But keep in mind, he had to flee Germany because he was wanted for murder. The details of that are unknown. That's why he changed his name when he moved here. I mean, here did he call? Kill all men? It was all men, yeah. Okay. It was all men, all very brutally. Um, he attended one of his victims' funerals. And it's in a newspaper that the corpse's nose started bleeding. And some lady mentioned that's a sure sign that the killer is near. And then when he escaped, when the fourth guy escaped from him and he got caught, he actually went on after he got arrested to really praise this guy and say, he had almost inhuman strength. He outsmarted me. I'm very impressed by him. He had a very Ted Bundy type of nature. There were over 7,000 people that attended his execution. And the judge actually said pretty much the identical thing that Ted Bundy's judge said, which was, it's a shame that you took this route. You could have been something really great. Joseph, did you kill people that you didn't get caught with killing here in Parker Circle? We've gotten a yes for that several, several times. Oh my God. Was he executed? He was hung. He's in Dill Cemetery and his body is buried in an unmarked grave. So that's down on 7th Street. So, I mean, so we went to a review. Oh, yeah, that we one's very active people. as well. Yeah, but no, he's not in that one. He's not good enough for that one. That's all noble people. Joseph, did it hurt when you got home? I'm going to hire you. <laughs> I said yes, look. Lucky. It did hurt for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he kind of had a chip on his shoulder the whole way there. It was said he was in very high spirits. He was making the guards laugh. It's almost like he didn't think, I don't know what kind of delusion he was going to Like he was going to talk his way out of it or something. Everybody said he was quite charming. I mean, he got a wife once he was here. Okay. Joseph, do you like it when we talk about you and you get all this attention that you didn't really have before? that you haven't had since the 1800s? You said follow me. Where do you want us to follow you to? You want to go back to your room? This is room 409. Well, that's where he's always seen. I don't have exact <laughs> blueprints of like where his apartment was, but it was on this land, and it would have been in the original portion of the hotel. So. Okay. Probably, Ooh. yeah. Looky there. It's, it yeah. was pretty dead a second ago. Was your apartment in 409? Or your dwelling unit? Was it roughly in that area? Tell you just... I don't know. My hands are really warm at the moment, though. Joseph, do you ever get to rest? You're moving. No. It could also be an energy thing trying to manipulate like four different devices at once. Who are they? This is my tour group. We came to see you actually. We just wanted to come talk. That's interesting. I've never gotten that on one of my tours. Who are they? If you guys want to see what all goes on there during the nighttime. Just book you an overnight or come along on one of the ghost tours that Adra hosts. If you would like to see me stay the night here, um, <laughs> it's expensive, so <laughs> we got the start a donation for that one, but it, it would be wild. Um, it looks awesome. It, this place is crazy haunted and absolutely stunning and beautiful and takes you back in time. If you would like to know more about it, you can look them up on Facebook or go to their website.